Alright guys, today we're playing the trolley game. This is actually a very professional looking game. This is my like fourth blind Roblox video, so let's hop into it. Let's see, welcome to the trolley game, where your decisions matter. Let's get started, okay. Welcome to the trolley game. Ooh. So I think this is a game where we play a bunch of ethical situations. Okay, look out, the trolley is approaching five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track running over one person, or it will just kill the other five people. Okay, um, <sighs> unfortunately my hand's are already on the lever, meaning that I should probably pull it, right? Yeah. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Oh, what the- why does it show it? Oh, that's so scary, what the crap? <laughs> okay. Ooh, 78% of people agree with me. Jeez, that's scary. Okay. The trolley is approaching five people. You can pull it to divert it to the other track and there were four people. I mean, it's the same ethical scenario. I'm just, oh, that's so sad. 4% uh, of people would actually switch if they had. Okay, a trolley is approaching five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, sacrificing yourself instead. Okay. Um, in real life, I am an actual asshole. I would do nothing. Fifty-nine percent of people agree with me. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, it depends. The rich man won't want to talk to me, but this person might be my friend for the rest of my life, right? But at the same time, I don't know this person, so it could be a means of. Creating a friend that loves me indefinitely, right? Or it could be a means of getting instant cash. That's the true thing, right? So, honestly, this person could be an asshole. So I'm just gonna do. Mm, I'll, 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 I'll kill the asshole, the possible asshole. Because I couldn't be friends with them, there's no benefit. They're both human beings, there's no difference, right? One's giving me money. I see that as a debt. I, I mean, it's better than going to the government, right? That money that that person has would just go straight to the government, and that's like, I don't really want to do that, you know? So, uh-oh, the trolley is heading towards five people who are sleeping and all feel pain. You can pull it to divert it to the other trap, sacrificing someone who is awake to this day. Um, I'm gonna do nothing, actually, because as much as those are humans, right? Like... If I was put right there, I cannot tell you how amazed, not, not how amazed, but how scared I would be. And that, I also have a theory in my mind, right, where I believe that if you die, you feel how you felt for the rest of your life, right? Like, for the rest of eternity. Like, because think about it, if there is such thing as a conscience and you die, morally, not, not, but like, the last thing you feel is it. Right? So wouldn't you want that last thing you feel? Because the theory is that like that would be extended forever. That last thing you feel would be good. So if these people wouldn't feel anything, that's the idea. I'm sorry. Yep. I think a lot of people would say that. So that's good. Okay, a lookout. A trolley is approaching five people who purposefully tied themselves to the track. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, running over one person next. Bro, they want to die. What? No. What? Yeah. That's so stupid. This isn't even a game if you play it looking at just actual lives. If you look at it the way I'm looking at it, it's actually like a, you know, a thing that you can play to understand yourself. Okay, my mom texted me that I'm not doing my assignments, but like, yes. Okay. Oh no, a trolley is approaching five people. The lever just speeds up the trolley, which might make it less painful. to make it less painful than these people. That's all I can really do to help them, right? Bro, what the f Dude, how many people jokingly didn't pull the lever? 28% of people. That's funny. Okay, look out. A trolley is approaching your best friend. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, running over five strangers instead. Okay, so my best friend right now 
is probably my girlfriend, right? That's a problem, right? But, you know, that's the truth. It's the person I appreciate spending time with the most. And it's a person I actually definitely would make time for. So, if I had to choose between my girlfriend and you know, five people, strangers, it says, that I don't know, I'm gonna save my girlfriend. Like, obviously my girlfriend might be, like, disgusted with me for saving her life, but there's a such thing as, like, unconditional appreciation in someone, I'm not gonna say a lot of them, right? But unconditional appreciation. So, I don't know those people and I'm sorry. Ethically, it's wrong, but I would save my friend. Look out, a trolley is approaching five people. You can pull the lever to divert to the other track, running over one person instead. At least that's what you think. If you forgot your glasses at home, you can't quite see. What would you do? Okay, so I actually have really bad eyesight. So, I have, right, like, okay vision, but like, it's blurry. So, I just left my glasses at home. It looks like it's bright out. It looks like it'd probably be past morning. Meaning I can see. If I don't have my glasses on and it's nighttime, I can't see shit, right? And I have, like, slight astigmatism, right, where my eyes blurry, so I wouldn't actually be able to look at anything. But if it's daytime, right, and it's approaching five people and I can save four people's lives, I would pull the lever. Right. Okay. So, look at it. trolley is approaching five old people. You can pull it to lever to divert to the other track, running over one middle aged person. Okay, well these people are the goddamn reason I won't have social security when I'm an adult, and I'm paying social security, so they can die. I don't- I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> so, but, you know, yeah, I'm just- I think that's right. Um, look out, a trolley is approaching five identical clones of you. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, running over yourself. Oh. Oh, shit. Well, look. My girlfriend loves me, and she wouldn't like a clone of me, right? So, emotionally, to all the people that know who I am, that is like losing a loved one, right? But these clones never really existed. So, ethically, I should save myself, including the fact that that is me. But five of me? Dude? If we were all working for the same purpose, right? One of them could just carry out life as me and just lie, right? Do you understand how powerful that would be? And that could be with any person who has an IQ over 100, just as above average, right? It would be so overpowered. So, obviously, ethically, I'm gonna save my life. But, dude, they had it. They had a possibility of being amazing, you know what I mean? Oh my god. Uh, well, if I have the opportunity and I'm not gonna get in trouble, pull the lever. Why not, right? It's, it's, it's wrong, but who cares? Okay. A trolley is approaching a good citizen. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, running over someone who, is, who litters instead. I mean, I litter. Doing nothing is just, it's a life, right? It's a life for a life that doesn't affect someone's ability to think. You know? A trolley is heading towards your worst enemy. You can pull the lever to save them. Oh, I have one person in mind and they can fucking die. <laughs> they can die, I don't care. I didn't do anything, I just walked past the lever. Look out, a trolley is releasing 100 kilograms of CO2 per year, killing 5 people over the next 30 years. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other truck, hitting a brick wall blowing up the trolley. It says the trolley's empty, right? Yep, the trolley's empty, I don't care. Nice. Uh, look out, a trolley is approaching one person, and will lower their lifespan by 50 years. Well, it's gonna- it's gonna hurt them, right? I mean, it'll still leave them mutilated, right? So one person with less years mutilated? Cause dude, I would not want to live less than 10- the extra less 10 years and be mutilated. Beyond the fact that I already have some birth defects. No. Like, I'm sorry, but I would not want to live that long, you know? Looking bad? It'd be hard. Scientist, sentient, oh. Oh, this actually gives you an opportunity to give you an idea, right? Think about it. Sentient robots that have feelings that feel pain, right? They have ideas, they have thoughts, right? These robots, if they can come up with their own ideas, are humans too, they are living. And you might say, well, they're not like human human, they're not like alive. Yeah, they fucking are. The things that determine whether you have like 
a thought or not, or like the synapses in your mind and shit, all that stuff, right? Those are pulses, just electronic pulses, just like a fucking computer. Obviously, they're not that similar, right? But you know, that is very, very similar. And you might say, oh, well, actually, we have bio, like biological living stuff on us. Like we have cells that are alive. Now those cells are reading fucking RNA strands that are basically just, you know, little bits of data, which are literally just, uh, sorry, like amino acids. Those amino acids that are bits of data, right? Are literally just like little packets of data being sent. So those are literally living people. So I would low key say that one, not only would we appreciate uh, technological advances, I would say that killing that person, appreciating technological advances also saves true lives. So unfortunately, I would pull the lever. As long as they were good people. Yep, most people disagree with me, but they don't think about the way I do. So a trolley is heading towards the top five donators. The rich Robloxians offer you 500 Roblox, Robux to pull the lever. Sacrificing five other people. Okay. They could offer me more. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Join them on the tracks. I actually haven't seen that. Hmm. I mean, I could sell 500 Robux for like $1,000. So whatever. I mean, it's, it's all the same. Right? They're all lives. Okay. What's this? Nobody is in danger. Make the... So you can wave at all the people. Oh, that's funny. I might be on TikTok too and get famous. Huh. A trolley is approaching five people. You can pull the lever to their to get tracks, sacrificing one person instead. However, you won't totally do a rat loop a doop. <laughs> okay, but like, obviously, I would normally pull the lever, but like, I do want to see what it looks like. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Uh, a trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever, lever to save them, but you would require you to get up from watching TV. Okay, in real life, I would. Oh! Oh! They're dead! <laughs> the people died! <laughs> oh my god. A trolley is heading towards an empty track, but you were born a lever puller. Can you pull the lever? I mean, if it's part of my family tradition and everything. Eh, I'd be that one person who's like a cinematic character, like, I would change my family tradition. This is wrong, guys. Look out, a human is approaching five trolleys. You can pull the lever to have ready to the other track running over one trolley. Oh, I just don't read them. That's not entertaining at all. The heck. Okay. I mean, honestly, I say that uh, I play through the rest of these. How long have I been recording for? That's the question. Uh huh. I've been recording for 13 minutes. Okay, let's make it a 20 minute video. Honestly. A trolley is approaching one person. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, running over 100 free Robux. A thousand. Dude, that's $10. Why the fuck would I take $10 for a life? That is so stupid. Okay. That is $500. I mean, knowingly, right? I know there's one last level after this, so I might not take it. So this is um $10,000, which $10,000 is not worth a life, because I could finesse a lot of the money out of them. So I'm just gonna finesse the money out of that person afterwards, right? Okay, self-driving cars. Oh, this is new, okay. The brakes on a self-driving car fail as it is approaching the barrier. Should the car change lanes and run over four people illegally crossing the road instead? Well, I don't think you understand that those people will be just as hard on the car, right? And cause just the same amount of damage to the car. And as long as I, uh... Obviously, I would have a thing that, like, tells the brakes so, I don't know if you know this, right, but self-driving cars will probably be electric, and electric cars have a thing called, e like, this eco mode thing, where it automatically slows itself down. So I assume that it will just use the eco mode, which, uh, naturally just lets the car slow down and gain energy off of it. So, it would reverse it. So that wouldn't even be the brakes, that would just be eco. So, honestly, I'm gonna do nothing and hope that my car, uh, oh. Never mind, I totally overthought that, I just fucking died. Okay. 
The brakes on a self-driving car fail as you're approaching four people walking across a crosswalk. Should the car change lanes and run into a barrier instead? This time I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna get. Wait, hold on. What did that say? I just realized there is a crosswalk. Oh fuck. Well, I'm not legally responsible, so they could have gotten out the way. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The brakes on a self-driving car fails. So they're approaching a barrier. Should the car change lanes and run into a barrier? What? I mean, does it slow it down? No. Okay. Bro, okay, I'm gonna be completely honest. In real life, if it was a cat, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't. Okay. Okay, it's a dog. It's a dog. That's fine. Okay, the brakes on the self-driving car fail as it is approaching one person illegally walking across the street. I mean, I'm sorry, but you could have walked a bit faster if you were illegally crossing the street. The brakes on a self-driving car, a clown car, carrying 16 clowns, what the fuck, fail as it is approaching four business people illegally walking across the street. Yeah, it should do nothing, what the fuck? What the hell? You see that, like, confetti it just posted? Or put back? Okay. Memes. What? Okay. Whatever. Well, that was a good video. See you guys, I guess. I, I mean, I don't really have a very good way of ending these videos, but I hope you watch the videos that are popping up or whatever. See ya.